Hi everyone, <clears throat> so it's been a long time since I've made a review, so today's review is going to be short, and it's on older, it's on an older doll, so this re um, review is going to be on Polyp Kalea, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of her, but I think, um, I don't even know if there's really, really any reviews out there of her, so I, I thought, you know, I'll take this opportunity to make a, a review of this doll in particular. She's an older release doll, again, um, as mentioned, and she comes in a type, I believe it's a type, she's actually a type 4 doll body, and let's get started. So, Kalea comes with this really cool pinstripe hat, the, the hat itself is really great quality, and um, it has like, I would say pleather, not even, it's like kind of better than pleather material on the sides. And it's nicely shaped. It stays like this. It's not like I'm putting it like that, which is really nice, I think. And um, it's made out of cotton, the pinstripe part, and it's really great quality. <clears throat> sorry, guys. I think I'm like have a really bad case of allergies, so if you hear me like constantly doing that, I'm sorry. Um, her hair. Let's talk about her wig. So her wig is of a maroon. I would say maroon, purple highlight kind of color. The wig color is very cute, it's very unique, it's very short, and the one that I have is actually <clears throat> nicely styled. Um, I wonder if all wigs come like this, I'm not sure. Um, but hers in particular is very nice, I see no parts where um, netting or anything like that on top of the head. Um, it's really, really nice quality so far, a little frizz, but not so bad. Next. Let's talk about her face up. Her face up is very nice. She has, let me see the color eye chips. They're like a dark brown with black eyebrows and she has, let me see if I could put this here. Like, almost like orange cheeks and like peach like lips, glossy lips and they're just, her face up is just very, very nice. Her eye chips are just really beautiful and I think they suit her hair very nicely. And her eye chip color is kind of like a beige khaki like color. Okay. And now let's talk about her stock outfit. Her shoe keeps falling off. Um <clears throat> So basically, her stock material is the same as the hat. It's thick, it's durable, um, it's very nice. Um, underneath her jacket, let me take it out here. It's like a little hook and a thread that it holds it together. Um, basically, she has a basic, basic top underneath and it's long sleeve. But to, you know, to not spend a lot of time on that, I'm just describing it. It's okay quality and you just you know detach it here in the front by a velcro her jacket though it's very nicely detailed it has these two side pockets here and these buttons here nice quality it's a nice touch to the suit and um as you can see it's just long sleeve it's nice and then she comes with these shorts which i also think they're very nicely detailed she has a little hook here thing like she could put on a belt i don't think she came with the belt I don't think so and it's very nice and then she has these um, pockets um, let me see if they're functional you could actually put your finger in there but I wouldn't recommend it because you could probably break it um, I wouldn't recommend that and it's kind of it's the same material as the part of the hat and then the bottom trim of her shorts are also the same material of her hat very nicely detailed and then down below here as we could see the shoes are enormous for her and I guess it's a good thing that this shoe fell, the other shoe fell, so you could kind of compare how big the shoe is um, versus to her foot. The shoe is very nice, let me get this one because it keeps falling off. It's a hard plastic material, it's brown and it has these like little shoelace like threads on it. You, c It's not functional, it's not like you could tighten them, it's only on the top part of the shoe and they're this long, if you want you could tie them but the thread looks like that one that easily is that's easily untied and um, it's really good quality it's just very loose it's too big on her little movement see will fall off like that um, and then she comes with these basic um, navy blue socks 
and it's just basic cotton, okay? One of the things I didn't mention about this doll is that she's very unique. Well, not very, but she is unique. But one of the things that's very unique of her is her right hand. She has like a grip hand, which I think that's cute because a lot of dolls don't really have that. We have some, but not all of them are like that. Okay. What else? She comes with um, this pleather, leather um, purse. The purse, unfortunately, guys, as you can see through time, the little pleather, leather part starts breaking apart. Um, it kind of sucks because the style of it is very nice. Here on the centerpiece is like very tough um, to give it that shape. Um, and it's just a shame, though, that the outside part is not the best. And it's kind of functional, or it's functional, but it's kind of difficult to open. And then inside we have like a like a satin material, black satin detailing in the inside. And, you know, she just holds her, her back like this. Just sucks. The purse is not the best. Through time it starts falling apart. And then, she comes with her card. So, what do I have to say about Kalea? I think Kalea is one of those dolls that a lot of people really don't notice. She's very versatile. Um, the issue with her is that she's long time sold out now. And it's really hard to get her for a good price. I know eBay people love to really increase their prices. But if you really, um, you know, take a moment and really just be patient and keep an eye out, you will probably find her for a good deal. I've seen her recently be on eBay for like, I think it would end the bidding price would be like $80 or something like that. Um, but you have to be patient, look through there, look through Yahoo Japan auctions. Um, what else? Um, yeah. I actually bought mine second-handed, which means she was not brand new what I got her. I got her from another collector. Um, I bought her for $50, including shipping, which I think it was a fantastic deal. And if you're asking how long ago that was, that was... Mmm... I cannot remember. Maybe like six, seven months ago? Um, so, yeah, and if you want to know, no, that person does not have any more um, pull-it dolls. That person just wanted to get rid of all of them and I was the one that bought the last one so this was it so um if I recommend her to you of course she's beautiful um and that's basically what I have to say about this doll if you guys have any questions or just want to say anything let me know I hope you found this review helpful and I hope to see you guys soon all right bye 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 <laughs>